hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am using my daughter sydney who is in her second year of college and she said that i could use her face uh, as an example of a light makeup look that you can either wear to the office or something light that you can do if you are a student so this will work well for high school uh, and college and like i said the office so what i'm doing here is just kind of um, going through her eyebrows with a benefit precisely my brow eyebrow my brow eyebrow <laughs> benefit precisely eyebrow pencil and I'm using the shade 5 uh, which is a little lighter than her hair color um, next I'm going in with the Milani concealer and it is pretty much close to her skin color so this is really all about light application so I'm not doing anything heavy um, and this is really just to kind of define her brows um, I'm also using it as a um, <laughs> I'm using it as a eyeshadow base as well so uh, just give the eyeshadow something to stick to so yeah I um, I'm just like you know what the way I do my makeup every day is not typically how everybody would do it but I think that this is really easy um, easy to follow along it doesn't require a lot of expensive products and um, the great thing about it is most of us probably have these items anyway so um, here Sydney has like really long eyebrow hairs <laughs> so I like to like if I'm going to do her makeup I'm going to always use a gel and that also is by benefit um, and it's pretty much the same color as her eyebrows so I like to use this because it keeps them in place it doesn't make them like hard or crunchy or anything but it does help to um, keep them in place so next I am going with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder and I believe this is the shade 35. It's pretty much again close to her skin tone. I'm just kind of lightly um, brushing that over her eyelid. Again, this is just going to help her, um, the eyeshadow that I put on just kind of blend a little better. Um, again, this is really all about light application and something that she can do, you know, before she go to class. So this here is the Jaclyn Hill, um, I don't call it a blending brush. I've never seen a brush like that. It's the only brush that I have in my whole arsenal like that. And I love it. Um, this is by Minted Cosmetics. This is a bronzer in Yacht Life. And I'm going to use this to kind of, uh, just kind of lazily put that in through her crease just to kind of warm up the crease and define it a little bit you really don't have to be overly neat with this part um, I use this as her bronzer her eyeshadow uh, bronzer blush but yeah this is really something quick and easy kind of add a little color to your face um, and then go especially with this brush like I, don't, I need to buy more of these because it covers so much real estate Sydney's like why can I only move one eyebrow she can only move that left one <laughs> um, so here of course those late college nights showing her where she needs to add her concealer and again this is the concealer this is Milani um, that I added on her eyebrows so um, typically females we tend to have um, some darker coloring around our nose and around our mouth so this is really much uh, pretty much to kind of help it blend out and you'll see as we go further along in the video like she just starts to brighten up her skin tone becomes a little bit more even and this is not about covering every single imperfection she's kind of want to look put together not like a full beat like no this is not what that is because I do it every day because I love makeup, but typically uh, your regular person, they're you're just not going to do all that. Like, who's going to do all that? Me. <laughs> but yeah, so she's liking how it's coming along. So this is the tinted or the Fenty tinted blurring um, moisturizer. Again, I am using, I'm not using, using a brush here. I'm using um, a damp sponge and the reason why I'm using a sponge is because again I don't want this to be like full coverage and so using a sponge um, it soaks up a lot of product and then it it absolutely helps it go on 
um, so that it's more skin like so yeah so here um, I'm adding a brighter concealer now typically I would have just stopped um, at the previous concealer but she said that she was going to be taking some photos and doing some TikToks or what have you so um, she wanted just a little bit more definition so um, you see that I took another eyebrow or an eyebrow but an eyeshadow brush and I'm using that to really blend it out because just trying to feather it out so that it blends and it's not too cakey under there and just kind of brightens her up a little bit more um, so that's what I'm doing there now, whenever you're putting anything under your eye, you really want to make sure that you're going to go and follow it up with a setting powder. Because if not, like I don't care how old you are, um, it will begin to crease on you. So um, you'll see me going in with some lighter powder here and I'm pressing it in like I'm not baking like this is not this is not that. So we're not baking. I'm just showing her. It's like if you just press, get a little powder, press it in. Um, it'll brighten it up. You'll still have that brightening effect under the eye. Um, and it'll look just, you know, more photogenic and whatever she's trying to do. I mean, you know, these kids with these TikToks, I can't even talk because I have a TikTok too, but anywho, <laughs> that little square sponge I got, I love it. I got a bag of them from Amazon and I think the whole bag was like, I don't know, $9 and 20 of them came in there or something like that. Sometimes my numbers be off. But here I'm going it in with the MAC finishing powder. And again, I'm just using that to, I keep saying again, again. So here I'm just blending all of that powder together. Um, I want it to look as natural as possible. So here I am going back with that Minted Cosmetic um, bronzer in Yacht Life. And I am using it to bronze her skin up just using it on her forehead um, and then I'm keeping it high around her cheek area and because I'm using the same product that I used in her eye space um, it it's kind of looking a little bit more uniform so again we're using all there I go again so I'm using all warm shades on her eyes so it is going to look a little bit more cohesive so um, here using the number three and this is the Fenty like compact I believe and you can see that these are all really warm colors so I'm going in with that so I made Sydney like a makeup kit to take to school with her and it's got really simple items like the Fenty it's like three or four colors just kind of showing her placement and things like that so yeah here we are um, I love like berries and browns I'm not using a black because this is a full daytime look um, and this is pretty much helping to define her eyes, especially like when her lids are closed or you're looking down, you'll see that definition, um, in the eyes. Um, another reason why we chose to kind of do a little bit more definition on the eyes is because, um, Sydney really likes to define her eyes if she is going to wear a little makeup. So she really likes that eye definition. So, um, that's why I just didn't leave the wash of bronzer on there. I just kind of went in with something a little bit more natural-ish. Um, and again, I'm putting that darker color in the outer third of her eye. Just again, for more definition. So yeah, pick one feature on your face or two. I mean, you can do whatever you want to do. But typically, uh, if I'm doing SIDS makeup, I'll just really do a lot of focus on the eyes because she likes to have her... Um, her lipstick or lip gloss pretty much remain neutral so yeah here I am using Pat McGrath's uh, eyeliner pencil and I'm using brown so I'm not using black because this is again it's a daytime look um, and again for that if I say again one more time you know you have those words where you go yeah you know like like I don't know why I keep doing that because I feel like I have to say it again just so that I can really like hone in on the point that I'm trying to make. So here I'm bringing all the colors up under her eye. This is going to help with that definition. So I don't like to just have stuff up top and then bring, not bring anything below because then it doesn't seem to like, it just seems like it's incomplete. So here I am using the Milani, um, what is that? Highlighter. 
and I'm going in with a little highlight on the cheek, something light. Um, I have to restrain myself because sometimes she's like, Mom, I just want a, a natural look. And then when we get done, she was like, I asked for a natural look. What is this? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, let me kind of pull this back because I get so excited. And so I get so excited. I want to make sure that whoever's in my chair, daughter, I don't want to make sure that I give, I'm give, i giving them what they want. <laughs> so here I am going in with some of my very favorite low-cost lashes that I get from um, Amazon. I believe you get 20 in a pack for $8.99 and they are, uh, they are reusable. So um, again, it's for every day. I've showed her how to use the micellar water to take them off in the evenings if she chooses to uh, wear them multiple times every day. <laughs> I'm like, take them off. This is how you do it. It will melt off so that you're not losing any of your uh, natural lashes. So she's like me. She doesn't want to sleep in them or anything like that. So uh, what you saw me use there was, again, Maybelline. And it is a uh, darker concealer that you can contour with. But I'm actually using it as a, um, a lip liner. So going in, I believe that's probably, I don't know, this is not a sponsored Maybelline video, but I use a lot of their products just because they're so good. Uh, but yeah, going in with one of her lip glosses that's going in her um, pack, or her kit rather. And um, yeah, again, you can see that we are keeping it natural. She's liking the way it came out. You can see just the definition up top like in her eyes like if she's looking down you can kind of see the definition without it being too much so yeah there is it the kid looking all pretty she gave us a little smile but yeah thanks again guys so much for coming to my channel and we'll see you next time bye